feel honored to be a part of the neighborhood care points and I'm so glad that I got to go help them and interact with them and just put a smile on their face basically because that's all they want. The Swazi Neighborhood Care Points are the new project that Key Club International is going to support um, with our funds raised through Trick or Treat for UNICEF and other fundraising activities. <laughs> the Neighborhood Care Points are pretty much just a place for vulnerable children and just the community children in general to go and um, get a good meal. Some have non-formal education so they're not only learning school stuff that they would have to pay for, but they're also learning about HIV AIDS and how to prevent themselves from it. There was a lot of order. I mean, they were lessons in the morning. There were play times at certain hours of the day. They had a, a meal consistently at a certain time. And it's it was more than what I expected. <laughs> We saw all these kids lining up for a meal, and this meal was the only meal that they're going to get today. One of the kids did tell me that his food was really good, and then he, he said he, he did manage in broken English to tell me that I was really cool. At the first um, care point that we went to, I think that they were more accustomed to seeing Caucasian people, so they were a lot less shy. Um, but they really started to respond to us once we started to take their pictures. Taking the pictures was one of the best parts. And I think that getting involved in that made it a lot easier to realize how happy the kids really were. They love seeing themselves. Many of them have never seen themselves before, so with our digital cameras we took pictures of them and showed them what they look like and they just had so much fun making fun of each other. <laughs> Smile. Smile. We also brought Polaroid cameras and they got in a line and we took pictures of each of them individually and they got to keep a picture of themselves. So. Um, Throughout the day, you could see them holding on to their pictures or looking down at it to make sure it was still them. And I think that's something that they'll treasure for a long time. Almost. Just a little bit longer. That's a smile. You never know. Like That one picture could remind them of what we did that one day the rest of their lives, and that could really make a difference. And you just, like, who knows, you know, what that could have done. And I think that it's very important. It, ch I, it made their day just seeing the pictures and us being there. And I, it was a really, really good feeling. They couldn't say goodbye enough and they hugged us and uh, blew kisses at us and waved to us. So it was, the children there were absolutely amazing. AIDS has completely destroyed um, any sort of safety net for children in Swaziland. Um, the life expectancy is now 29 years. Um, and, and so I mean, any sort of adults really don't exist in these children's lives. Many of them are running their own homes like their parents they're orphans and their parents have died and so they're taking care of their siblings while trying to also go to school so if they go to the neighborhood care points then their um, younger siblings can be watched and have other children to play with while they go to school i talked to kids who said this is this is what keeps them going the knowledge that we can make a change that we as high schoolers can make a big change um, it, it's, it's a real feeling of empowerment. We're helping to fund these projects so that they can continue with volunteers who are trained to help these kids both 
intellectually and emotionally. Our main purpose is to go back to the U.S. and bring back the positive mindset so that we can advertise these and show everybody what they're all about. It says on average it takes $8,000 to fund a care point for an entire year. It's something that is so important, but yet it's so feasible.